Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaisa and I post art related content here on YouTube and I'm just kind of starting out and trying to grow my channel. So if you're interested in watching that happen and coming along for the ride, then feel free to subscribe. So I just finished watching Physical 100 on Netflix and just have been so enamored with like all the characters, like the casting is really, really good. Um, lots of like cool characters um, and everyone is really attractive. <laughs> it's like insane. I've never seen such beautiful people. Oh, and the show, if you don't know what it is, it's basically like a competition show to see who has the perfect body or maybe it's like the strongest body. I don't know. It's kind of like a weird premise, <laughs> but I was very entertained while watching. Um, and I'm also working on my anatomy studies currently. Um, it's definitely time for me to brush up on those skills. I've been feeling really rusty. Um, and I was like watching the show and like, hmm, what, what better reference than um, a show, a bunch of like muscular people with extremely unique physiques um, that I can draw. So today I'm going to be sketching one of the people on the show, Chu Sung Hoon, because duh, like look at this man when he just walks into the room. <laughs> like immediately when I saw him, I was like, I have to draw him. He's like one of the main characters of the show. Um, and apparently he's a famous MMA fighter. I don't know anything about sports, by the way, or like fighting or anything. I'm just here for the drama. <laughs> so yeah, let me stop rambling and let's get into the drawing. So I'm going to be drawing on Procreate. Um, I'm going to be using the 6B pencil brush for everything. As my warm-up, I'm starting off with this photo of Chu Sung Hoon. It was shown briefly on the show during his intro, and I really liked the dramatic lighting. There's some really cool shapes like in his musculature, as you can see. And yeah, so my process is basically just quickly sketching to get the general form down. And your sketch is really the most important part of your drawing because if the composition of your sketch is incorrect or like slightly off, the rest of your drawing that you're building upon your sketch is also going to be off. <laughs> so you really need to get your sketches nice and tight. And I'm saying you, like this is me talking to myself because um, this is one of the things that I'm really trying to work on is getting like nice, super accurate tight sketches, you know, having the base uh, or having the foundation of my drawing be really strong. Um, yeah, like I tend to want to just like jump into the details, but trying to be better at tightening up my sketches. Um, so once I'm happy with how the sketch is, I will fill it with sort of like a mid-tone color. Um, for all these sketches, I just use like the same color as my brush, but around like 30 to 40% opacity. Um, and then I merge all my layers. Like I'm, I'm working on one layer the whole time. Um, so once I have that, I'll go in with the eraser to start blocking in some highlights. And for the eraser, I just use the round brush. Um, honestly, for the eraser, I would use the 6B pencil, but it's just not big enough to do like quick blocking. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> um, like I said, I'm only gonna be using one color for these because they're just sketches. They're not really color studies. I really want this to be more of a form, shape, and value study. Um, I'm also timing myself. I'm giving myself around 45 minutes to an hour per sketch. I'm really trying to train my eye to capture general shapes quickly. Once I have the highlights blocked in, I will use the smudge brush, which is also set to the 6B pencil um, to like soften up some of the shapes, to round out the forms, and yeah, just to finish up the drawing, make it look a little bit more painterly. And yeah, here's how my warm up turned out. I actually went a little bit over an hour with this one, but it was really tough. <laughs> um, this is just really good practice for me because I do not draw male physiques. Like it has been years since I've drawn the male form, <laughs> which is honestly like not unheard of in the art world. Like the female form is just like more popular as a subject matter. I could probably make a whole video about like why that is and if it's a good thing or a bad thing or whatever. Um, but that's beside the point for this video. I want to be able to draw a variety of body types um, because I want my character design skills to be a lot stronger. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's why I'm kind of challenging myself to draw um, the male physique in this video. <laughs> 
So the rest of my sketches uh, are gonna be from this fight scene between Chu Sung Hoon and then another MMA fighter contestant. Here is the reference that I'm going to be using. And yeah, same process, just blocking in a sketch. I'm using the same brush, um, just a little bit thicker, not for any reason. I just started drawing with the brush at like a 100% thickness and never ended up adjusting it. Um, another thing that I'm really trying to practice is getting more action and movement into my posing. I think a lot of my character work ends up looking pretty stiff. And so I'm hoping that with continued practice of like drawing people in motion, I will be able to push my poses further and have them be a little bit more dynamic and lifelike. So yeah, same process after I was happy with the sketch, I added that 40% opacity color wash and then went in with the eraser to get the highlights. Um, then going in with the smudge brush to soften and blend. The calf on the left side, I guess that would be his right calf, was giving me so much trouble for some reason. <laughs> I was really struggling with getting that shape right. It was like not clicking in my mind how to make it look accurate. <laughs> and looking at it now, there's definitely mistakes, but overall I'm happy with this one. And it went a lot quicker than my warm up, which is great. Um, you always wanna get like progressively quicker and tighter with each sketch as you go along. Okay, so this is the next sketch and the last sketch that I'll be showing a time lapse for. I actually did a couple more that I'll show you at the end, but I didn't want the video to be too long. <laughs> um, so from here on out, it's just more of the same process. And let me know if you find this helpful because I would definitely be down to make longer videos with like tons of sketching in them. Just let me know. Um, I did find that as I continued on, I could see a clear progression from my warm up to my final sketch. Like my sketches were tighter, faster. I was more focused on value rather than line. I don't think either method is right or wrong, but I know for me, I'm usually happier with a sketch that focuses on value and form. And I also think um, it gets like a little bit more accurate. Um, I mean, I would love to be super quick with contouring, um, but I don't know. I think that form needs to come first in my experience. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Here are my final sketches. I am really proud of these and I'm proud of myself for like staying disciplined and following through with these. A lot of the time I avoid doing practices like this because I feel like there's no point in making a sketch unless you're going to turn it into a final piece, which is like silly, I know. <laughs> but making a video out of my sketches really kept me motivated. And also sketching from a TV show that I was watching kept me super engaged like with my drawings. I definitely recommend doing this if you are someone like me who gets really bored of anatomy practice. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really helps my channel and let me know what you think in the comments. I always appreciate critique and feedback. Oh, and like, what do you think of this video format? I've never done a video that was laid out this way, like with my little avatar in the corner. <laughs> it was really fun to edit. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know what you think. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out my socials linked below and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my stuff. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.